We're gonna do something a little different today. Welcome back to an exciting episode of Not Ask the Boys, but we've got Ask the Girl hey. featuring Cat over here. So uh, we asked some fans some questions that they want to ask Kat. So I've got these list of questions here. And the only way you can ask these questions is to follow all of us on Instagram because you don't know which one of us is going to ask for this round. I asked on my stories and I said, we're going to be asking Kat some questions. So you little perverts out there, ask away, guys and girls. <laughs> okay, we'll get straight to it. First question is, how do I convince my girl to do OnlyFans? I know she can make bank. Oh. Uh, honestly, my boyfriend actually convinced me because I wanted to do it for a while. I want to make some extra money during the pandemic and I felt like he was a good gauge of telling me whether it was a good idea or not because I was very, very, one, shy about it and then two, I felt very nervous about the judgment that I would get from being on OnlyFans. Judgment from like a friends and family or from I the public? I, uh, I think mostly it was uh, the public and then people who I worked with. I know my family doesn't care because I come from a family of like, coffee shop girls so like not like none of this is necessarily new to me and I grew up watching a lot of people like be into like import models and wanting to be an import model when you're like in high school that was a dream you want to be like a Ashley ABG goals yeah basically yeah. so it wasn't new to me but I was in like in the podcasting world it's very different it's much more like in our pocket a little more like conservative like more traditional mm -hmm. like values, so I felt like I was gonna get judged really hard. But by they're them. the most horniest because they're the most repressed. Yes. <laughs> so they make the best customers. Yeah. Truly, yeah. truly. That's why I am able to make a living. But my boyfriend just basically told me like, what does it matter? Like at the end of the day, you don't know anyone online. You hang out with like three people, even if like everybody in the world hated you for it. Like who fucking cares? He's, <laughs> he's smart about that. That's yeah. true. But it still started with you though. Like you still yeah. had an interest in wanting versus yeah. like hypothetically <laughs> just trying to convince somebody who doesn't yeah. want to do it. He was trying to pimp his girlfriend out. That's Did an uphill battle. you want to do it? This low key sounds like one, you either want her to make a bunch of money so like she can spend it on you guys, which like good for you. Go get your bag, King. Um, <laughs> But, or it sounds like you like the fetish of, or like this idea that your girlfriend is like the hot girl online. Yeah. So like, if you, like are you low key a cuck is what I'm asking. Oh. If you are, then you I think they're- low key a cuck? Damn. Answer that question, my boy. Are you a cuck? There's no shame in it. Good for you if you're I'm a cuck. asking no more questions. All uh, right, another question says, why is she so <laughs> mudda flipping sexy? I don't know if that's a third person thing that you're supposed to answer. Mudda. Maybe mudda's in there, so Joe's mm -hmm. supposed to answer why you're so sexy. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is. Why uh, she's so sexy. She was born that way. Yeah, I look just like my dad. My dad's fine as fuck. <laughs> I legit look just like my dad. You got a picture of your dad? Yeah, that's the thing. I posted a photo of my dad a few months ago and a bunch of people said, wow, you really look like your dad and now I can't like see, it. see your dad in you. So like, oh, no way. now I think your dad is hot. It's not that like I'm not hot anymore. It's that my dad is now hot. That's kind of so hot. That. That's pretty tight. But yeah, if you jack up dad. off to me, you're jacking off to my father too. So. And he's proud Do of it too. Do without what you will. Oh, he's so happy I'm making money. He's so wow. happy. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> that's the dream. Is dude. cat a cat or a dog person? Uh, uh, definitely a dog person, but I think I act more like a cat myself. I'm much more like, you need to come to me. And I like having people who have personalities like a dog. Like my boyfriend is a dog and I'm like the cat that swats him away. <laughs> <laughs> How does your dog act, though? your new dog, your oh dog son? my dog, he's such a little bitch boy. He's like, first of all, he is actual a- Actual dog or are we talking about the- Actual dog, not, okay. not my boyfriend dog. She got a puppy. Uh, actual dog. I uh. have a puppy. He is a blonde mini Dashin, which is basically a wiener dog. He's about five pounds. And he's this little like designer dog, basically, who can't drink tap water. Water. He's gonna get diarrhea. What? He always has fucking worms. Just drinking Voss. <laughs> Basically, like he has to drink like bottled water, like us. He bougie. Oh. Wait, if he drinks tap water, he gets he, a little tummy ache. Yeah, a little tummy ache. A little tummy it's ache. All right. But he's the. Bring sweetest. him to the shelter, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he would not survive a day in the shelter. Oh my Ruff god. him up a little bit. I oh, realize Richie Rich, dude. He's so cute. He is, and he doesn't even realize it. He's so fucking spoiled. He has two parents who don't work conventional jobs who could be at home with him all Damn. the time. He like cries and whines if he doesn't. Spoiled motherfucker. He's god. spoiled as fuck. You wanna beat his ass or do anything for him? Where's your favorite pho? Uh, I'm actually not that big of a pho fan. My mom, in my opinion, makes the best pho. But my favorite food is definitely, out of the soups, uh, bumboy. 
Boom ba wei. Boom ba Have you had Nan Chang Boom ba wei? I have not. Oh, you're gonna like it. We're about to have yeah. it. Yeah, they're like known for Boom ba wei. I do like pho. I just think. The song? I just think it's overrated. <gasps> she got better soups. Boom ba wei is better than pho. It has a lot it's of flavor. Hardier. I think it's cause like you like more flavor. You like more things, cause yeah. Boombo is just more wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pho is like more like it's like every day you can eat it and it's subtle. Yeah. But then it gets boring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I need like more flavor. Yeah, too. It's like tea and coffee. Mm -hmm. Like True. coffee is more wow, but I, I like tea a lot. Yeah. Wow. Is wow. Boom is like a uh, breakfast food in Vietnam, right? Pho. Yes. But then you don't eat boombo away for breakfast. You eat pho for breakfast there? Yeah. Yeah. So bomb. For like a dollar twenty five. Uh, the like broken breakfast. rice plates yeah. where Ooh. it's like the Ooh, bone jump. Yeah, come down. Man, I'm so hungry. Oh, what's that one where it's like a um, rice paper crepe that they put little? Oh, bun sale. Bun sale. So good. Ooh, bun sale. And then bun bale. Bun bale is the, the little place. like gluttonous rice one. Yeah, it's like yeah, the yeah, little yeah. white dishes with like the little like pork the rinds. Yes. Or like, I like that. So good. I like that. Yeah. I like that. This uh, SoCal versus NorCal. Uh, four different things. I say NorCal. I love NorCal because I'm from there. SoCal is like my new home, but I always feel so like safe when I'm back in the Bay. It feels like I get recharged. I just mm -hmm. don't think I could live there right now. Oh, I yeah. feel like I can't What's the difference? Do... Uh, NorCal is definitely much more chill, much more slow paced uh, pace. And then LA or SoCal in general, I think is a little more lively. And it's a lot more, I wouldn't even say fake. I feel like if you're in, LA or SoCal and you encounter a lot of fake people, it's the people you surround yourself with. Because people from LA aren't like that. It's like all the transplants who come in here and give LA a bad name. Thank you. Yeah. Like Thank if you're you. surrounded by nothing but fake people in LA, that's because that's that's who you surround yourself with. Yep. That's who you choose to be around. Because we're not, real LA locals right here. Yeah. Locals. And, like, Anthony's the only Hollywood bitch, but just <laughs> you are Hollywood bitch. unnecessary. Why is Joe such a dickhead? Well, that's an interesting question. Huh. No, okay. Somebody uh, by Anthony Lee. Somebody says, Listen. "Are there any sales on your OnlyFans?" Somebody's trying to get in. Sale. <laughs> hey, 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 are they Asian? Are they Asian? They always looking for the fucking deals, bro. <laughs> just admitted he's the worst customer alive. I will yeah. say, uh, my I have two pages. I have a free page if you want to su subscribe to that. It's on Instagram. Uh, no, on OnlyFans, I have two pages. So oh, one is fine. free and then one is What's the is difference? Paid. Free, I don't post as much on. I use it really for promotional purposes. Oh, I'm trying to figure out, I think I want to start sending out pay-per-views on there too, just to like see what happens. How does, if how I, does that work? Yeah, because you make a lot of your extra money in pay-per-views. So I will send out a locked message with like, hey, uh, like some sort of caption like for- Fight night with my five, feet. Yeah, like fight night with my feet, $5. Like pay to unlock it. And then you can see the content behind the, the paper on, on the pay-per-view. Wow. So it makes additional money. But uh, yeah, if you Soft want to- Soft commentators. <laughs> Damn, the system <laughs> behind it is crazy. <laughs> but yeah, if you want the free page, it's uh, onlyfans.com slash catcall. So Cat call. that's the free Dang. one, and then the uh, exclusive one with the good shit on it is team. So are it's linked to both. Employees? Uh, I do have some employees. Here's this one. I'll be your I'll get you I coffee. We could make your company into a multi million. Like right now, it's a million dollar company, but we could make it a multi multi million. Yeah, we got access to DGens. Yeah. DGens. <laughs> yeah, man. Fucking Nick, he will sweet talk the fuck out of all your customers. Yep. Yeah. That's you know, yeah. he'll double team in the replies with you. Yeah. Fucking Bart, I don't know what he'll do. But he'll do something. He'll do fat something. ass. Yeah. 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 We could use, he could, be your, he could be your butt Booty stunt double. double. You know what it is? <laughs> a lot double, of people dude. will do collabs on OnlyFans. <laughs> dude, <laughs> like, imagine Bart yeah. and so Kat. it's like, oh, unlock this pay-per-view. I'm collabing with like Bart for this month. And it's like, a picture of his butt, a picture yeah. of my butt, and then like you sell it for X amount of dollars. He's a booty oh, double. Wow. You it's are the business. JK piece of meat. Wrong wow. industry, yeah. guys. This is so much funner. I feel like we could all be at least your focus group. You know, yeah, we could absolutely. all give you feedback on your pictures. <laughs> feedback. <laughs> Do people on OnlyFans go like, let's say I put my dick next to Nick's collabing, 
and yeah. then we yeah. can make some money? Or is it yeah. like, we should just have sex together because... Collabing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you can do that too. A lot of people do it different ways. Sometimes they'll do like a tag for tag. So let's say we, like Anthony and I do a photo shoot and then like half the photos I use for my page, the other half he uses for his page. Like a regular collab. You can only get that content on his page and then uh, my page. You can't, we don't cross mix uh, and then we tag each other. exclusive content Or some people will do like a, I will sell this pay-per-view with Anthony and he gets 10, 20, whatever amount percentage wise we agree on. So if I sell like $100,000 worth of pay-per-views, with my collab with Anthony, he then gets a percentage of that. And we are doing this official collab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I just figured out how Bart and Nick can fuck each other at the same time. So, okay, you go. point your dick down. He was workshopping. I'm not circumcised. You got the butt, you got the butt have, right? Ooh, docking. And then you go, no, no. So you go like this, and then this holds the butthole. So you go like this, and then you lock it in. Mm. Oh. Right? Okay, so like <laughs> one person <laughs> is this facing this way with a dick down, yeah. and then the other person is facing up with a dick up, and then so it's like this. Oh. oh. And then it they is, go each go in a hole. Yeah. I think you're overestimating my length. Oh. <laughs> Or underestimating the separation of the gooch. Yeah. Oh, true. Or underestimating the thickness of his ass. Yeah. And how much dick Nick's gotta have to go. Through. Exactly. People don't think about this, bro. And it's the it's all about angles. If you don't got eight inches, you ain't touching me. Oh, you got, got big got ass. Nine inch ass. <laughs> <laughs> it goes it goes this far out. Only Steve can reach Steve me. Steve could probably. I mean. Yeah, I don't think I can. So, what's your favorite flavor from Thrifty's ice cream? Uh, Thrifty's. No matter where I go, I always Ooh. get coffee ice cream. That's my go-to. Really? Like Hagen Dazs. Hagen Dazs. Coffee the ice cream is the best. The best. Ooh. Have you ever gotten the chocolate uh, coffee lovers from Cold Stones? Yes, I have. It's with the crushed Heath bars and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yo, why is nuts so good with the ice cream and so chocolate good. and coffee? Yeah. I was going somewhere different in my head. <laughs> You're like, oh. <laughs> How do I get my longtime girlfriend to try new things in bed? Um, one, I feel like girls are very willing to try new things. And bed, generally speaking, uh, you got to make her feel really comfortable and kind of open to it. I feel like the only time I'm not too, like. Yeah. The only time I don't yeah. want to try something new is if I don't feel comfortable in that environment. Yeah. That's, that's the only like, time. How do I get her to let me fuck her in the nostril? New <laughs> things, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. we don't know what this new thing is. Yeah. How do you also stop a, how do you also stop a girl from lying, though? From lying? Yeah. What type of lying? When she's like, you're the best thing I've ever had. I'm oh, like, like that? <laughs> So, yeah, don't think, lie to my face. Because nope. I think girls are like this. Like it's like, oh, what do you want to eat? Anything, right? And then oh, that's like, a damn lie. And then you're like, <laughs> okay, what about this? No, what about that? No, what about that? No, right? So I think chicks are like that too, where it's like, oh, are you down to try anything new in bed? Oh, I'll try anything. Just make me feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. They make you feel so comfortable. Oh, no, not that, not that, not that, not that, not that, not that, not that. See, I think if you have one thing in mind specifically, like let's say you really yeah. want to try, I don't know, throw something out there. Anal seems anal like sex. what okay. is like the most common. Let's say like you really want to try anal sex and your girlfriend doesn't. I say you gotta really kind of slowly and gradually get her to that point. Like slowly start like playing with her butthole. Maybe put a tongue in. A tongue in. Yeah. A little pinky. Eating ass, like make it seem like you don't want to try anal right off the bat. It's like, oh, let me eat your ass. And then just start like doing more stuff with her ass and that's like huge. kind of trying that's to try. Such, it's baby working. steps. Yeah. It's really baby steps. What if you go like, you show up with the dildo in your ass. You're like, if yeah. I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> that you works. Know what? That, that that's works. fair though. But sometimes it don't work. <laughs> every time, 100% of the time it don't work. Every time I want a blowjob, every time I want a blowjob and I ask for a blowjob, I'm never going to get a blowjob. Like 99 out of yeah. 100 times, you'll never get a blowjob if you ask for a blowjob. But anytime I really want a blowjob, I'll ask if they want a blowjob. Like, hey, you want me to eat you out? <laughs> and, like, throw them off a little Yo, bit. But you're it's like, right, because then, like, I think women really have this feeling of, like, oh, I need to reciprocate. I need uh, to, like, yeah. meet you halfway. Yeah, so every single so, like, time I just give, choose to go down she first. She then wants to give, too. Yes. That's pretty tight. Just In saying. order to receive, you must give. So if you want to do anal at home, with your let, her let, let her peg your butthole. Let her peg you. Peg Buy the strap yeah. on. Put, and hang it up on her back. Let her <laughs> destroy <laughs> your fucking anus hole. Yeah, put your money where your mouth is. Right? Okay? Is Cat yeah. is Kat still in charge of Brendan's social media? I am not actually. Uh, I stopped doing that for almost a year now. Almost. I don't, uh, yeah. I don't know. You used to are. help yeah, out his social medias. 
One of the bigger parts of my job working at Fighter and the Kid was to handle social media. And after a while, Brendan wanted to get off social media and I took over those responsibilities. So I would then like go through his messages, see if there are any like business so opportunities. Now he's the one fighting with fans. Uh, no, and now uh, someone else does it. Mm. Uh, you guys know him. Uh, wait, no. It used to be Gianni and now it's Christian. Oh, Christian does yeah. it. Okay. How come when I DM'd him, fuck you, he never replied? I don't know. I think, honestly, I think that was around the time I was taking over, so I probably just ignored it. But uh, is it still there? Can you refresh it and bring the fuck you back up to the top? Send him another message. Okay. Oh, I'll bring it back. Pin it. Oh, wait, it's a DM, right? Maybe you should have said, like, mother fuck you or something new because everyone says that that's true like even trolls say that like fuck you like you got to say something different no, yeah. yeah that's my fault um like that's why i fucked your bitch you fat motherfucker or something like that you know like you gotta make it personal yeah <laughs> uh who's the better boss brendan or theo um, I'm always gonna say Brendan. Brendan's my guy. He has looked out for me since day one. You worked with Theo? Yeah, I worked with Theo for a little oh. bit. I used to do uh, King the Sting during its like, mm. first year. Um, but yeah, like Theo's great, but I I have such a soft spot for Brendan because when I first started working with him, it was straight out of college. He was my first job and I was working part-time, so I had to get like a full-time job while I did that. And I was so broke at the time because I was supporting me and then my ex-boyfriend at the time that I I got to a point where I was working four jobs at once, literally like day wow. after day after uh, day. What was what was your boy ex boyfriend doing? Nothing, literally nothing. Oh, I was the biggest oh. simp. I was like literally the biggest simp. See, I've oh. always heard these stories, and I've never oh. been taken care of this way. Me yeah. neither. Yeah, who? It's not fair. Honestly, I'm like I am I like to. actually a sugar, like a sugar mama. I'm that type of person oh. where like I will take care of you if I. So you like? Do you do like yeah. platonic sugar mama ing? No, that. Mm -mm. Asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> friends of friends, you know. So you're doing all that. And yeah, I was doing yeah. all of that, and then uh, I told him at a certain point, like, "Hey, I think I'm gonna have to quit the podcast because, like, I'm not making enough money to just do this. All my other jobs are to support me being able to do this." He's like, "Oh no, don't worry about it. Pay literally like paid me more than enough what I needed to survive, and like, and then some, and just had me do the podcast full time. Like, this man has always wow. looked out for me. So it, it was more like it was more like." Like um, at that point, it's like it is it. It's not the price that you should have got at, for what you were doing, but out yeah. of his own pocket, he was just yeah, like, "Here exactly. you go." Like for the job I was doing, I should not have had been paid that much. Mm -hmm. But because he's like, you know what? Like I love working with you. I'm gonna look out for you. I'm gonna pay you however much you ask for. And I just knew like I'm not gonna ask too much of you. I just like need enough to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. And then he did that. He always looks out for me. What did your ex boyfriend? Was he thankful? Uh, kind of, and then like not really. He Doesn't just, sound like, like he would be thankful. No, I think <laughs> would he like he's <laughs> fucking you, isn't he? Yeah. No, okay. he was like he's super open. He, my ex boyfriend, was like okay with me being in like an open relationship with him in college if I mm. wanted. He's like that type of guy. But Yo, who's his dude, bro? I don't know. Like he didn't have a job. No. <laughs> He like moved to LA to be with me and he got really depressed because like he has this idea of like, ooh, I hate LA. He's like one of those guys who like didn't have much going for him here. Yeah, so he decided to like hate the city. Yeah. And he didn't want the to- The location depresses you to the fucking little bit. Yeah, that's like all the actors that work waiting jobs and then they, they talk shit about LA and then they go yeah. back to their shit town. I moved to Albuquerque, <laughs> you know, it's the It's like, man, you're a fucking little bitch, dude. Albuquerque's <laughs> nice. Yeah, they got cool license plates, though. <laughs> That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. I went to this city and it was horrible. That it's like, great. where did you fucking go? Yeah, did you go to Skid Row? Like, I did live by Skid Row. For a me while. too, and it was fun. Right, Little Tokyo. A lot of entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, look out the window every now and then. Jeez, bro. Right. Three in the morning, people with blood curdling scream. You like scary movies? <laughs> yeah, look outside your window. Last it's question: Who do you hate the most in JK? Who do I hate the most? Ooh, you have to give an answer. Toss up. This no, is a toss-up. Who do I hate the most? Um, I feel like I'm always so like everyone here is so cool, but like I have to say Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm much more of like, growing up I was much more of like a Jabberwockies fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tinchers are cool too though. Like, what did I tell you about Vietnamese girls, dude? Hey, what did I tell you about Vietnamese no, girls? No, it's cool. Jabberwockies doesn't have noodles. Out. They do have residency in Vegas. But. She's a regular now. <laughs> hey, she's, a, she's part of the JK family now, dude. <laughs> that was amazing. That was a great answer. That was, that was, that was oh my god. <laughs>
That's it, dude. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> 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 <laughs>